Here we go, back again with another video and today we're going to talk about the death of the public house. Yes, death of the public house, pubs and clubs in your area or in my area where I'm going to start today about when they close down, the reasons for closing down and will they ever start to reopen again? We're going to start where I was born, born and bred, Easton Colliery, Easton Village. There was absolutely a shed load of pubs and clubs in Easton. When the pit was open, it was thriving, it was bouncing. It was the place to be on a Friday night, a Saturday night. Karaoke, wine bars, drinks, the lot. Let's start it. Join the journey and let me know your comments down below. Let me know when you think these pubs close. Let me know what your local village is like. Let's have it. So here we go, we're starting off, yes, where I was born and bred, Easton Colliery to Easton Village. This one and a half mile strip, possibly just over 2k, had, was thriving with abundance of pubs and clubs. Let's go and see what's closed down and what's still open. And across the road, one of those two big properties, whether they were knocked down, I think it was knocked down, used to be the Trust. Yes, the Easton Colliery Trust, where my grandma used to work. I remember going in back in the day, there was a big ship in the window, it was a huge place and at some point in the 90s it changed into a wine bar before it declined and I'm kind of guessing this could possibly be the first pub to close down in Easton Colliery. Let me know in the comments down below, did you go in the Trust? Not very nice the weather today but what was the Trust's wine bar name? Can you remember? I think it was something to do with the ships, three ships. I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments if you do. So yes, I think I went in the trust just the one occasion. Went for a drink, that is, as a wine bar. I remember when I was little, I used to always go in all the time with my grandma as she was working. I'd sit in the corner, you know you do, as, a, as the babysitter. Yeah, back in the day, we used to enjoy going in there. Have a few games of pool, I think it was. Mugging about. But yeah, I've been there a couple of times. But I'm sure that was the first pub that closed down. But is this next one still open? Do apologise for the rain, but next we're going to the leather cap. Now, I'm not quite sure if this place still exists, still open. It looks like it's in, it's in order, like it's still going for members. Me nana, again, salt of the earth, amazing lady. She used to work here as well, so I used to pop in here once or twice in my younger days. Obviously not the drink, because I was far too young then. Just to meet me grandma after work. And yeah, Browning Street, it looks like it is still open. Someone just came out. Question answered. So yes, there we go. It is open. Two blokes just come out, having a tab. So yes, the leather cap is still open. I mean, none used to work there. So that's one closed down and one, well, it is a workman's club. One pub closed down, one workman's club open. Let's pop to the next one. I know 100% or 195% this one is closed down. Yeah, Walter Wilson's was never a pub, but it is closed down anyway. Been closed down a long time down here on Seaside Lane, along with many other shops, the decline of the High Street. But at least there's still some businesses open down here in Easy and Colgy Seaside Lane. Still plenty of other shops closed down though. The old Lipton's and many others down here on Easy and Colgy Seaside Lane. Seaside travel is still booming. Unlike Page Bet, the booties that closed down a long time ago, formerly known as Barclays Bank. Next we have the Victory Club, also known as the flagship, another workman's club, closed down over the last couple of years. That used to be bouncing really good on a Friday night. You say enjoy going there for a pint, a little bit of a go on the bandit. But as you can see, it's been absolutely gutted by the looks of the rubbish on the outside. What yeah, I think this just closed down in 2022. This is a bit of an eyesore. 1925. Opened by the Marquess of Londonderry. 1925. Now, just a closed down club. As you can see, big old building, good size. Boarded up all the way around. Glass being smashed, of course people do when the places get boarded up huge building huge building i heard there was some kind of cannabis farm in there at one point when it closed down before it got boarded up as you can see i think it's up for sale of some kind but it's been absolutely gutted 
absolutely good at here. Have a look. Must be all sorts of rubbish being put in there. So yeah, it's all nicely secured, locked up, which is happy days. Hopefully someone will take this over and restore this into its beauty. <laughs> so there's the flagship closed down. Next we have another one closed down. The diamond, the black diamond or diamonds used to be an old wine bar. Now it's some kind of home. We'll take a stand back and look at the size of the diamond. That is, used to be the black diamond down here on Seaside Lane next to the co-op. It was a wine bar back in the 90s. I did go there many times myself for a drink. It used to be a really nice place to go for a drink. One point it was quite rough. I'm quite sure I've heard that the priest or vicar that used to be in that church at one point got barred from the diamond. Was barred from the diamond for smashing glasses or windows. I'm not sure if that's 100% true, mind. So that's three closed down and one still open. I know there's one behind us that's still open at this moment in time. So there we have the co-op. And that used to be the diamond. It's now Paramount House. It's, it's housing people. I don't know what kind of housing community live in there. But yeah, some kind of housing community. It looks like it's doing a good job. So the diamond, I think, closed down back in the, I don't know, was it the 90s? Was it the 20s? Was it the 20s? Let me know when that closed down. But this one is still open. He's in Social Welfare Centre. Been there loads of times playing snooker and pool. Good Friday, Saturday night. I know that does really well. I think it's still doing really well. I know my parents still go in there. There's Easton Park. There's a new housing estate. And that is the Welfare Hall. Upstairs and downstairs. I'm sure upstairs is a function room. Downstairs, you can go in there. You can play pool. I think you can play darts. I think it's a game of bingo or some sort of uh, quiz night. But also you can play snooker. Absolutely fantastic place to go. I've been to a couple of parties upstairs in the olden days as well. Massive, massive old building. Absolutely fantastic old building. Really good night. Like I said, my mother still goes in there. I'm not sure what night she goes in, but she really enjoys it. Especially for a game of snooker and pool. Well, mum doesn't play snooker and pool, but <laughs> I know people that do. So over the road was the diamond. So sometimes you'd go in there. I remember having a birthday, one of my birthdays. I don't know if it was like the 22nd, 23rd, going in there and then going over the road to the wine bar as well. Just crossing over the road, loads of pubs together. Absolutely brilliant. But now, as we've seen, two have closed down and two are still open. Next, we have the Rafa Club. This used to be the RAF Club. I definitely closed down now. So I said before, there's three open, three closed down. Four closed down, two open, only two survived so far, two clubs and four closed down. How many pubs and clubs do you need in a space of two miles? But when the pit was open, this was a thriving community. Really the, the heartbeat of the area. Loads of jobs. Back in the 90s, the pit closed down. Rafa Club just there, CIU Club just there. That turned into some sort of bar, some sort of pub at some point. Again, back in about 2010, roughly, I'm not quite sure of the date itself. But my mum had a birthday party in there. I remember going there, dancing the night away. My mum had a birthday party in there. It's now gone. I have no idea what's going to happen to it. I have no idea what it's going to be. But as you can see, these buildings are huge on a grand scale. All of these old buildings in Eason, all absolutely amazing looking structures but it's closed down now this for me is the decline of the pit the pit closing down the Tory party closing the pit down is this what's happened to this village all these clubs and pubs have closed down because there was no jobs in the area the heartbeat of the community had gone the pit had closed down thousands of jobs gone there is the back of the pub i remember years ago sneaking in there as a youngster in the teenage years getting up to no good i did this is when it was open as you can see it's not the same bit of days, there's mould growing all over, doors dropping the bits, pipe work, knackered, old building, not being looked after for a long time. So there we have it, another club bites the dust. A lot of pubs and clubs in this two by one and a half mile strip, two K strip down Easton. Like I said, it was an absolutely amazing place to go for a drink. Or even get pissed off when it's pissing down the rain. You go home, you were drunk. You didn't mind at all. The next club is definitely open, still thriving, still bouncing. It's a colliery club. My dad was on the committee for years and years and years in there. Been in a couple of times for a game of snooker or a pool. So just off the main road, just up from the last pub we showed you, this one 
has always done well. Now, I don't know how it's doing at this moment. My dad's not on the committee anymore. My, dad's, my dad still goes to this club, enjoys a pint. Easton Colliery Club. This was the biggest club, the biggest club in Easton. And there was turns on every weekend. I don't know if the turns are still on, but they were really good turns. They have a good dance and a good game of bingo here. Now we're moving on to Easton Village. The houses to my right, Houses to my right, as you can see, the new houses that used to be there. Village Club, yes, the Village Club. Back in the day, the Village Club, again, once a thriving, bouncing pub. I went to my stepdad's 50th birthday party in that club as well. And that's just closed down, I think, in the last 10 years. Now they've built houses over it. Mind you, when I used to go there, it was quiet back in the day as well. So he's in Village Club. That is six. Six pub the clubs closed down, three still open in a space of a thousand meters, one and a half, 1.5 K. So there we have it. That was the gap between probably the CIU club to the village club, probably half a mile max. Thank the Lord it stopped raining. You could start off down East in Colby, have two or three couple of wine bars, two or three clubs, then get a short half mile taxi journey or a little walk up to the village to where I call, you know, this was the bouncing part of your night out. This was Pub Central. There used to be six places to go for a drink. How many places are still left open? Let's go and find out. Right, so the first one on our journey, it used to be called the Village Inn. Now it's a convenience store. I'm gonna guess this was one of the last ones to close down. This was, for me, the posh pub. I thought a lot of people went in here, you know, who were quite posh, but maybe that was just because I wasn't. It is now Go Local Extra. It was the village inn. I think there was a jukebox. I think there was a bit of karaoke. There was pool tables. It was a canny night out. I remember going here in the 90s. I do not know when it closed down. I have no idea when this closed down. Someone let me know in the comments. If you're from here, used to go and drink in here. When did this close down? The village inn. The village inn off Sunderland Road, here in Easerton Village, just up from the colliery. My parents still live up here. Easerton Village, Easerton Colliery. This was the village inn. You can go in that entrance or the one round the front. As you can see now, it's a convenience store. The shame there's no old pictures inside here. We can have a look. I've just been talking to a lovely lady who runs the shop. She owns the shop. She used to own the village inn back in the day and the Mason's Arms. And she said the reasons for the pub's closing was new trends. When the shoulder of mutton, sorry, when the Mason's Arms closed down, which she owned, people stopped coming to the village for drinks out. So other pubs closed down along the way. So the shop's been open six years. So that must have closed down, I would say, between six to ten years ago. Thank you for the information, a bit of history there. Thank you to the lovely lady. I thought it might have been the decline of the pit, the close of the pits. She said, no, it was new trends. And I bet it also was the cheapness of alcohol in shops as well. People stopped going out because of maybe inflation or, or even price rises in the pubs. Up here by Rosemary Lane, I'm gonna head off to the main road. We'll show you the Mason's Arms. So posts on Facebook, I could see, dated back to 2015. So I wonder, like she said, Roughly six years ago, or just more, the Mason's Arms closed. Probably more, actually, about 2015, 2016. Then the village inn followed suit. So over the road from that gorgeous church where I had my kids christened years ago, the Mason's Arms, that was bouncing. Go on Facebook, look up the Mason's Arms at Easton Village. You'll see posts dating back to 2015. There was karaoke there, I remember karaoke nights there, pubs there, there was live shows there, that was a really good pub to go to. But apparently trends, changing trends, forced the lady, she decided to close down the Mason's Arms. Then the village inn followed suit. But we had two other pubs in this village. What were they called and when did these close down as well? <laughs> I used to be a paper boy up here. Yeah, when I was a kid I thought everybody up the village were rich, was rich. There's an old abandoned house just there, look. But look at the village, superb village green. We had two more pubs down there, there's a club down there. The best pub still open that you can get food in Easton Village is an absolutely amazing pub. But look at that house, what's happened to that? I'm sure that was a class house back in the olden days, a class house. 
let's have a look around us. Big old building. I wonder if that goes up for sale. No idea. We're going to go now to an absolutely fantastic pub to go for some food. You've got to book a table, I think, in this place. If you're in the area, go online and look up the Half Moon, folks. Look up the Half Moon on Stockton Road, Easington Village. The Christmas dinners, me parents, me dad, and my stepmom still go to the Half Moon on Christmas Day for the dinner. Absolutely superb Christmas lunch. You've got to book up in advance because it is a really lovely place to go for food. I give this, I've been told this is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for a night out and absolutely amazing food here at the Half Moon in Easton Village. Once upon a time, Party Central, Pub Central up here in Easton Village is now turned into one horse show. If you want to go for a good night out, you want to see a live turn, you want a game of pool, you want a nice cheap pint, there's only one place to go in Easton Village now. It's the Southside Social Club. Of course, you can go to the Half Moon for a superb meal, but if you want, a good night out and a good dance, the South Side Social Club is the place to go. Again, my stepdad and my mum go here every single week. Take my nephew Daniel here every single week. Have a game of pool. We all get drunk with my nephew because he's only 15. But yes, that is the place to go in Easton Village if you want a good night out and a nice pint. Hit around Easton Village where it used to be Party Central. I remember walking home from this pub back in the day I think I was underage mine, so I do apologise. But singing to Caravan of Love on New Year's Eve after I'd been to the south side, won a few pint beers by eating crackers on a stage. First one to eat a load of crackers on a stage at south side, you won some pints. Went over to the shoulder mutton. I'm sure I used to go near when I was 16 years of age, of course. That's what you did when you were a teenager. Got up a mischief. Now I think it's flats. It's been sold off and turned into flats. The shoulder of mutton. Sold off and turned into flats. That place, again, you can go and have a game of pool, go and get a few beers. But like I said, I remember sneaking in there as at the ages of 16, 17 for a couple of beers. Now, there's only one more place in Easton Village that has closed down over the years. And we used to call it the drug den. I don't know if it was. That was the nickname it got. It always stunk when you went in. But on a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, you could have a good dance. There was a disco on, there was a DJ on and you get lost in the smoke and the fumes. It was called the King's Head. This shop's been open for many a year. I don't even know how it, it sells like old clothes. Have you seen it? Norma and June's Fashion Limited. I have no idea. This is still open. Sale on now. It's been open for years, never been in it. I'd never had any reason to go in it. We've also got the Village Fish Shop. That was always a nice place to go for your fish and chips. I think my mum still goes around now for, for fish and chips, for cod and chips or whatever it is. The do do deliveries, there we go. Village Fish Bar. But look, it's closed on a Monday, a Tuesday, and a Wednesday. Only open for the rest of the time. Then we have the local. I was the paper boy there years ago, paper boy there years ago, starting at five in the morning. Now, again, it's a premier. Premiers take over everywhere they go. King's Head. This is the place. It used to be an amazing place to come. The King's Head. I have no idea. Someone let me know in the comments. I have no idea what the hell it is now. It's nearly got knocked over. I do apologize for what in front of the car. As you can still see on the top, it says the King's Head. There we go. King's Head. King's Head. No idea when that closed down. It was closed down. God, it must have been the late 90s. I'm sure it was one of the first ones to close down and he's in. I'm not surprised. It had a really bad reputation. But some other pubs, like the Village Inn, like the Mason's Arms, were superb. I used to love them. I used to love the 90s and 80s. And I used to love the Black Diamond, the Wine Bar Diamond. Yes, the Wine Bar Diamond. The Welfare Hall. The Welly. The Welfare to go and play a pool. Have a competition of pool. That was a superb place to go. And it probably still is. Do apologise, I've missed one out. The Jupiter Gym used to be the Tin Club. The Constitutional Club. It is now a gym and salon. It used to be the Tim Club Constitutional Club. Number 16, that has closed down. Not number 16, that's closed down, but the 16th pub or club in Easington Village and Easington Colliery. So there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Easington Colliery, Easington Village. 16 pubs and clubs in a one and a half mile stretch of road. Only five now survive. Let me know. 
Did you used to go to these pubs and clubs? Did you enjoy your night out? Which was your favourite? And in your local area, has there been many pubs and clubs closed down? Let me know in the comments down below. I may pop over and see that village one day. Thank you and take care.